Okay, so once again, let's see if we can sum up this video with a sentence. So remember this, the most reactive ends up as an iron. Tattoo that on the inside of your eyelids for this part. The most reactive ends up as an iron. Okay, so what does that mean? Let's see if we can unpack it a little bit. Well, metals and non-metals, when they react, become ions. So the most reactive is going to become an iron. Magnesium and zinc 2 plus ions, there are two things that could happen. The first thing is nothing could happen. Just makes magnesium and zinc 2 plus, no reaction. The second thing that could happen is that it makes magnesium 2 plus and zinc. Now you know what? The second thing is actually what happens in real life. The most reactive ends up as an iron, so magnesium is more reactive than zinc. Let's look at another example. Iron and silver plus, that goes to iron 2 plus and silver. That's what actually happens. So iron is more reactive than silver. Now, the elements are going to be solids, and the ions, well, they're going to be aqueous. But we're still not done here because it's not balanced. So I'm going to stick a couple of twos in. So that's slightly more sophisticated than the previous one. Okay, so what about this one here? Iron 2 plus and silver. Well, that's the last reaction backwards. You know what? That doesn't undergo reaction. Nothing happens. It stays the same. So the most reactive ends up as an iron. So iron is more reactive than silver, again, because nothing happened. Let's look at a typical multiple choice question that the IB could ask you. So multiple choice questions are expected to take you a minute and a half on average. So what's the order of the reactivity here? Well, the top one, there's no reaction. So you can see that Y ends up as an iron. It started as an iron and it ends up as an iron. So Y is more reactive than X. And Z ends up as an iron in the second one. So Z is more reactive than Y. So the reactivity series is Z beats Y beats X. So let's unpack that a little more. So Z is the most reactive metal there. And so X is the least reactive metal. This is all relatively, relative to each other. So metals like to lose electrons. So the most reactive metal loses electrons most easily. And the least reactive metal, well that gains electrons most easily. Now, oil rig, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. So that must be oxidation. Oxidation is loss of electrons. So it's the easiest to oxidize. And that reduces the easiest. And so an oxidizing agent is itself reduced. That little song there helps you to work out the final sentence. All right, so that's looking at metals. We've done that. What about non-metals, which is also mentioned in the syllabus? Well, we tend to use the halogens. So suggest a further reaction to allow the full ranking of chlorine, bromine, and iodine in order of reactivity. And there's a couple of equations that I'll give you. So chlorine and bromide becomes chloride and bromine. Ooh, most reactive ends up as an iron. And there's no reaction there. So essentially the products are the same as the reactants. So looking at the first equation, chlorine beats bromine because chlorine ends up as an iron. So what color change will I see? Well, green chlorine and colorless bromide makes colorless chloride and brown bromine. So the color change is green to brown. For the second reaction, there's no reaction. So chlorine beats iodine. The 
purple colour of iodine and colourless chloride, well, there's no change. Was purple, stays purple. So what's the relationship between bromine and iodine? Uh, I can't tell from those two equations, so I need to provide another equation that will allow me to determine the relationship. So there are two possible equations that you could choose if you're going to suggest a further reaction between bromine and, and iodine. How are you going to do that? Well, bromine and iodide, or iodine and bromide, just following the pattern that we've seen before. So the top one, there's going to be a reaction. The most reactive has to end up as an iron, and you should know that bromine is more reactive than iodine. in group 7 and for the second no reaction at all and that shows that bromine is more reactive than iodine you should know that from the patterns in the halogen reactivity going down gets less reactive so let's combine my three little ideas and now finally we can order them in reactivity Chlorine is more reactive than bromine is more reactive than iodine. So let's try and uh, explain that a little better. So all of these are non-metals. Non-metals are electrophilic. They like electrons. So for chlorine... It's the most reactive non-metal. Non-metals love electrons. So it's going to gain electrons most easily relative to the others. And that's called reduction. Reduction is gain of electrons. Which means it's the best oxidizing agent. An oxidizing agent is itself reduced. Remember that little song. And the opposite is true for iodine. Whew!